Strong passwords and the use of multi-factor authentication are some of the best ways to protect yourself and your organization from cyber attackers. Every character that you add to your password makes a huge difference. An eight character password can be hacked in three minutes, but a 15 character password takes over four million years. Just think about that. And remember, longer is stronger. Weak passwords are a big hole in your organization's cybersecurity and in your personal cybersecurity at home. One great way to get started with long passwords is to use a passphrase. Passphrases are easier to remember and you don't have to change them unless there's been a breach or they've been stolen. Multi-factor authentication simply means that you need more than one step before you get into your computer or access your data. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, is the use of two or more mechanisms that must be provided in order to access an account, application, system, or device. This ensures that the user is who they say they are and prevents access from unauthorized users. The more factors that are used to authenticate, the harder it is for a cyber attacker to impersonate the user. Cybersecurity defense is only as strong as the weakest link. Don't be the weak link. If you get hit by a cyber attack, it can be devastating. Follow CRI's recommendations for using 15 character passphrases and multi-factor authentication. Make the commitment to be cyber ready. You need to create strong 15 character passwords for every account that you use and enable MFA on all software and hardware that supports it. If you use a passphrase, it will be easier to remember and use separate themes for the passphrases that you use at work from what you use at home. For extra security, always use multi-factor authentication anytime that it's offered. Use it on your accounts, applications, and devices, like your computer, tablet, and smartphone. Let's look at what this means. There are three common types of authentication factors. Something that you know, like your passphrase, something that you have, like your smartphone, and something that you are, like your fingerprint or face. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, is the use of two or more factor types for authenticating or accessing something. Here's an everyday example. If a thief got your car key, they could easily use it and drive away in your car. But if a second security factor was required to start the car, like a pin code on the dashboard, the thief would need both the physical key and the knowledge of the pin code to steal your car, much more secure. It's similar with software and hardware. If a threat actor gains knowledge of your passphrase, they could easily log into your account. But if a second security factor was required, like getting a text message with the code to enter along with your passphrase, the threat actor would need both the knowledge of the passphrase and your physical phone to log into your account. And if a third factor was required to get into your phone, like your fingerprint, then your account becomes even more secure. You may think that long passphrases and multi-factor authentication is inconvenient, but it's nothing compared to trying to recover from a cyber attack. Don't wait for a cyber attack to happen. Start right now to prevent attacks and use 15 character passphrases at work and at home. Always use multi-factor authentication and change your behavior and be cyber ready.